This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavasso. A man is dead after jumping out of a freezer in a New York City restaurant and charging at an employee with a knife Sunday morning. According to the New York Daily News, police believe the man is from Arizona. They say police told them an employee at Sarah Beth's restaurant opened the freezer door and that's when the Arizona man ran out screaming away from me, Satan. The employee was able to calm the man down, but he went into cardiac arrest and later died at a New York hospital. The investigation is ongoing. Now let's check in with Kyler Diggs. All right, Val, we've got excessive heat warnings already in effect for Monday, so be careful out there. Some of those high temperatures could go as high as 111 degrees. Excessive heat warnings stretching all the way into Southern California and Southern Nevada as well. As far as when we're going to get a break from this heat, well, it looks like it'll happen about the middle of the week. That's when the moisture increases and we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms entering back into the forecast and we'll actually stay in the mid to upper 90s right through next week. All right, thank you, Kyler. It's been nearly three years since 21-year-old Hunter Miller lost his life at Tanker Verde Falls. His mother sending out a plea for people to think twice before heading out to the Tanker Verde Falls this time of year. Sunday night on Kaga 9 News at 10, we'll tell you more about Hunter's patrol and how his dedicated mother hopes to educate people about the dangers of Tanker Verde Falls during monsoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. For more news and weather updates, head to our website, kega9.com, and follow us on social media.